Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be designing my own wall in my office. So as you can tell, the wall is clear and everything. Um, I moved all of my moving boxes that still have not been unpacked. I moved them out of the way and I dusted off the wall in um, preparation for doing this. I ordered four rolls of Rossi tape from Amazon and I'll put the link of the type of tape that I used in the wall in the description. It's very durable and it sticks really well. You just have to push it down a little bit and it sticks. So my idea for designing my own wall, checked out a bunch of different removable wallpapers on Amazon and other websites and there wasn't any that just really, that I really liked. So I decided my best course would probably be for me to design my own wall. So I got on Pinterest and on YouTube and I Googled and I, and I looked at a few videos and tutorials on how I was able to do that, which is how I um, came across Rossi Tape as one of the best bets. And the brand I used, like I said, it was very durable and very strong and easy to use. And I had scissors near me, but I didn't even need scissors to cut it in order to tear it. And it tears very neatly. I didn't have an exact pattern in mind. I just wanted to make sure that when I started, I wanted to make sure that I left a focal point in the middle. So I want my middle part and it's designed to be pretty bare in order for me to add, to eventually get a large picture to put there. But I don't have an exact mind. A lot of the tutorials I liked had diagonal patterns. So I wanted something that was diagonal, that was diagonal-ish. It didn't have to be exactly straight, and as you see, a lot of my lines aren't. They start straight, and a lot of them will curve down. It's more I was going off the feeling of what I thought it should do. I didn't want them to be straight. And if you make any mistakes, like you notice, um, if my lines are a little crooked or not the way I like, using this washi tape is so easy to move and place back where you want and just press it down. You can keep moving and make it look straighter. Now, as I'm doing this, I'm not just going and not looking at what I'm doing. So after each step, I have to step back to really assess to see what I'm doing, to see if there's, if I like the direction I'm going in, if I want to do that to the other side, or if I should move that tape.
use my fingers to rip the waxy tape in order to place it on the wall. In order to make it neater, like in areas where at the ends the tape wasn't as neat at the end after I ripped it, I took another piece, piece of waxy tape and I actually turned it so that the straight edge was over the part that wasn't as straight so that you couldn't even tell. This whole process took about 20 minutes to do. I ended up going through three and a half rolls of my Rossi tape. I could have done a little more, but I thought this was a good stopping point, especially like I said, eventually I want to get a large picture, which I don't have in mind, but I wanted to leave the opportunity for, say I find a large picture that is very busy, then it won't overpower the wallpaper, or the wallpaper won't out overpower it. Or even if I get a simple larger picture, then it's fine because the wall is still fancy enough and it has enough pattern on it that it will accommodate it. I hope this video inspired you to try this your own self. If you did, let me know in the comments. I would love to see what you did. Thank you for watching. Make sure before you go to subscribe to my channel and share. I have a lot of holiday videos and other home decor videos that will be coming up very soon. So watch out. Bye.